Hi, I'm Michael Lee. I'm the marketing manager for Pro Armor. I'm doing a piece for ATV scene for a release to the public. Uh, this is our uh, LTR 450. It's uh, brand new from Suzuki for 2006. Uh, of all the 450s, it's the most hardcore and most oriented of the most race oriented of the 450s. Um, we've got some parts uh, of ours on here. Uh, first part I'd like to point out would be the Fat Nerf bars. Uh, they are uh, a Nerf bar that uh, has an integrated uh, foot peg, an integrated heel guard. Uh, what uh, some of the parts, some of the features that makes this unique from the other Nerf bars in the market are just how massive and beefy it is. Um, you can see that you know there, there's there's gussets on here for extra strength because obviously the spikes can be jumped. Uh, these uh, these tubes are a fairly large diameter. Uh, the uh, the the mount for these is into the uh, rear of the A arms. We supply the we supply all the necessary necessary hardware, um, installation, the snap. Uh, getting ready for the show, I put these uh, these Nerf bars on in about uh, 15 minutes uh, while I was uh, trying to organize other things. Um, while we're on this side of the vehicle, I'd like to point out to you our, uh, our aluminum, our built aluminum brake pedal. Uh, this piece is uh, another unique piece in the marketplace. What sets it apart is uh, just the look. Uh, it's an it's machined, then anodized, then remachined. Uh, this is removable. You can take this off. You can file it down, sharpen it. You, if uh, some people like to ride with their boot beneath here, you can you can trim this down a little bit so you've got more room for your boot. Um, it uses all the stock mounting hardware. Uh, also new on this bike, uh, this is our uh, our second generation Fat Peg Nerf bar. Uh, what's great about it is that there's a there's an insert over here that helps grab your boot. It gives you uh, much better control. Some of the things that we try to work on is uh, we want our products to be the best out there in the marketplace. Um, one way that we do that is by uh, you know going above and beyond what everybody else does. If you look at most other uh, race style Nerf bars in the marketplace, uh, they went uh, mounting surfaces up higher and the reason for that is that it's easier to, to build something like that. With ours, we've tried to make this as, as low as possible and keep this as high as possible. This gives you the maximum ground clearance. This gives you much better feel on the bike. We, you know, all of us ride, and, and you know, we want to make the best parts for ourselves. Also, moving over to the front of the vehicle, you'll see that we have a racing bullhorn bumper on here. It's a big, big aluminum tube, very, very strong. Uh, we have our A-arm guards on here. These pieces are uh, made of aluminum. They uh, don't use U-bolts. They use CNC aluminum hooks. Uh, if you look down here, the mounting point on all of these is recessed so that if you uh, if you go over rocks, if you go over logs, you're not going to damage the bolt because they're up and out of the way. Um, it's part of what makes them more expensive, but at the same time, it's a much, much better product because of that. Um, also on this particular LTR, looking around to the rear, you'll see that we have an exhaust for it. This is our Pro Armor pipe for the uh, LTR 450. It uh, is a motocross uh, pipe. It uh, probably will not, uh, it, it should not be used in trail riding. It's, uh, it's got some gains on horsepower. Uh, the exact figures are going to vary depending upon uh, what else is done to your LTR, but uh, it dramatically reduces the restriction of the stock exhaust on it. Uh, moving on to some of our other pieces, uh, there, we've got a Yamaha Rhino over there. Uh, the Rhinos are really popular and they've uh, been taking off because how unique this vehicle is in the marketplace. Um, you know, it's, it's a go anywhere, do anything vehicle. It can uh, climb, it, uh, it can haul, it can go fast when properly modified. And uh, what we've done is we've tried to provide the most comprehensive uh, aftermarket accessories package for the Rhino available. Uh, we start with the roof. There's an aluminum roof that you'll see on this model right here. It's uh, held on with, uh, with rubber isolated dampeners so the roof does not vibrate with the, uh, with the rest of the vehicle. The rhinos, uh, the motor will, will shake the entire vehicle. Our, our roof doesn't vibrate with that on there. For those who want a less temporary solution, we have a fabric roof that snaps on. Uh, it's small enough to stow away in the glove box and then if it rains on you, you need a roof. Pop it out, five minutes later you've got a roof on your rhino. Going over here to our cargo accessories, we have uh, bed rails. Uh, this is a tailgate grab rail. These are the side grab rails, which are not on right now. 
uh, and uh, they allow you to tie stuff down. We also have a cargo net that's sized for the Rhino. The uh, most cargo nets for pickup trucks are too big to fit in the Rhino. Ours is the perfect size. You put it down, pull four straps, it's down tight. Uh, moving over to the back of the vehicle, you'll see that we have a bumper over here. This is our Rhino bumper. Uh, we have a fitment for the 0405 and a fitment for the 2006 and up Rhino. Um, it's uh, made of steel. It's very, very strong. It, uh, it's, this, is, this particular finish is the satin black powder coat. It's also available in a polished uh, stainless steel. Uh, these are our taillight uh, protectors. Uh, they, uh, one of the things that, that I've seen a lot of for rhinos that are used as uh, actual cargo vehicles is that they, uh, people will typically damage these backing up, trying to do something. This will make it uh, significantly more difficult for them, to, for, for, for the owner to uh, wind up needing to replace these lights. Yamaha might not like that they're uh, not going to be selling as many replacement lights, but uh, it's good for everybody else. Uh, moving on to the side of the vehicle, we have our side frame guards over here. Uh, these bolt on, these are made of steel. Uh, this is uh, also available in uh, either a satin black or available in a polished powder coat. Uh, <clears throat> this mounts on to the roll bar, this mounts on to the frame itself. It's very, very strong. Uh, it's designed to protect the side of your vehicle from trees, from logs, and uh, from the ground if you do wind up uh, on your side. Moving on towards the front of the vehicle, you see our bumper. This is the Pro Armor bumper. Uh, as you can see, it's a massive, massive bumper designed uh, to uh, to protect the, the front of the Rhino. It also has it hard points for an optional uh, worn winch mounting kit, uh, so you can mount a worn winch to it. The, uh, the this, this is a brush guard that fits on the front of it. There's two versions: one for use with the winch, one for use without the winch. Uh, moving down this way, you get over to what Pro Armor is known for. Pro Armor is all about protection. You know, we are the best armor plate available for your ATV period. And uh, to, do, to do that, we've uh, come up with, uh, with our own armor setup. Uh, it's available as a front and front mid skin. Uh, and they are designed to interlock together. Uh, we have our rear, uh, our middle rear and rear skid, which are also locked together. We have the two side skids, uh, which bolt on the vehicle. Um, all of these pieces use the OE hardware, uh, and uh, it's one of the other features that we've worked on with this is that all of these pieces uh, are designed to interlock together. And uh, because they interlock, the interlock, uh, the strength is increased. Uh, for example, this piece right now is held on by six rivets, by six bolts. Because of the way it's attached, instead of being held on by six bolts, it's held on by a total of ten bolts now, because these bolts on the rear are also holding it in place. So when you crawl over a log, when you crawl over a large rock, it will uh, it'll be more resistant to being moved around, dented, etc. Sorry, more resistant to being moved around uh, or, or, or dented out of the way because uh, because of how the bolts go on it. Um, other things you'll see on this Rhino, we've got uh, we've got wider A arms on it. We've got uh, Gorilla axles on it. We have uh, the King shocks on it. These are really really trick. We've got hella lights on it. The uh, paint job is from uh, Rhino Graphics Exchange. Uh, it's a unique, one of a kind, candy apple red flame. It's very cool. As you go around the rest of the vehicle, you'll see that we have uh, Pro Rhino products uh, foam pads on there to protect the uh, the occupants from the Rhino. Also new for 2006 is our Pro Armor Warren Winch bumper. Um, this is a, this is a, a bumper for sport ATVs, and uh, what makes this unique in the marketplace is that it uh, it mounts to sport ATVs and it has it, it's designed for cross country running, and it gives you the ability to mount a Warren 1.5 winch to the vehicle. What's uh, the the idea behind that is that if uh, if somebody's going out to, to ride around to do some practicing, if they get stuck, uh, they can take the winch, wrap it around something, pull themselves out of that without having to get a bunch of their buddies to try and move the vehicle. And then when it comes time to race, when they're going out to their local hair scramble, going out to their local GNCC, uh, 
this, uh, this, this can be removed by taking off four bolts. Uh, the bumper can still be run without the worn winch. Uh, and uh, you can go out and run. It's, it's a great bumper for GNCC races, for a mud event. You can tape off the front over here, and it gives you extra protection from flying mud, getting splattered out. Uh, it's very strong. Uh, it drops down below the mounting point to protect both the frame of the vehicle and the frame skid of the vehicle. And uh, it's, uh, it's sold the bumper is available from Pro Armor. The uh, Warren winch and the Warren winch mounting kit are available from Warren. Uh, you can see your local uh, Pro Armor dealer, your local Warren dealer for either or of these pieces. Uh, moving on over here, we have our billet accessories. Uh, the, uh, the great thing about these is that, uh, like with everything else that Pro Armor does, we try to not just have a product, we try to come out with a better product. Uh, this is uh, the uh, press rocket cover for the TRX 450R. Uh, the chain actually comes through here so that uh, if, it, if you want to lube the chain, you can stick uh, your lubricant right through here and spray without having to take this off. One of those things that we try to do. Here's our billet shifter. This particular one is for an LCR 450R. Uh, it, we try to make it stronger. We try to make it so that uh, that, that your boot gets a better grip on it. Um, this particular level lever is for a TRX 450R. Uh, one of the things that we try to do compared when you compare the stock lever to our lever is that this piece is bigger. It allows you to be hung off the bike more and still be able to reach the brake pedal when you need to without having to change your weight around to reach it. Uh, some of the other pieces we do, these are our uh, billet throttle covers. Here's a billet uh, brake reservoir cover. Um, you know, Pro Armor is all about the best, and uh, that's, that's why we're here at the Indy Show. Pro Armor's uh, website is www.proarmor.com. The website uh, has the ability for people to order products off of. It's a great website, very intuitive. It's got pictures, so you can actually see the product. Um, Pro Armor recommends that you go to your local dealership to, uh, to buy our products from it. Uh, most uh, dealerships that uh, carry Parts Unlimited, uh, Marshall, Tucker Rocky, uh, etc., all of those places will have Pro Armor. Just uh, go to your parts counter and ask for it. Uh, also, our phone number is 1 888 ARMOR. Again, that uh, phone number is 1 888 ARMOR. And uh, you can call in and order parts from Pro Armor directly if you wish to. Thank you very much.